First, we will mount the solenoid valve on the Rotex right here. You will need a 10mm spanner and a 10mm ratchet can be helpful too. You will also need some thread lock. Start by a drop of thread lock on each bolt. and then fix the solenoid valve on the Rotax. Plug the EPROPS instrument onto the solenoid valve. Refer to the wiring diagram. Next, we will install the oil circuit. This hose allows the oil to flow back to the oil tank. It goes from here to the oil tank, which can be at different location, depending on your Rotax setup. For us, it's on the back right. Remove the bolt. And keep the joint. Depending on the setup, your hose can have different lengths. In this case, it goes under the intake manifold. Tighten it with a 14mm wrench. Connect the other hose side right here on the solenoid valve with the banjo bolt and the joint. Hold the banjo while tightening. The oil flow hose is a rigid stainless steel hose. Slide it in like this. It goes from the oil pump straight to the solenoid valve. Keep it loose to be able to fix the hose on the other side. Here you have the oil socket which can also be used for the turbo. Remove the cap. There can be some oil leakage. Screw the hose with the joint. Tighten it with a 14mm wrench. Tighten the other side as well. The next step is to place the oil transfer tube and the piston on the flange. Make sure it can rotate. Take the propeller and place it against the flange. Put the nuts behind the flange.
Tighten all the nuts with the torque wrench as usual. Et voilà. Et maintenant, vous Now allez voir le réglage we will see how to set up the small pitch. It is determined par by the target RPM on the ground. Par le fait de But make sure to leave a small gap between the levers and the bolts. Et les vis qui sont, uh, entre les that works as a security stop. The propeller is delivered with a basic pitch setup. Remove the locking wire. Le fil frein de cette butée. Pour le nouveau to réglage set up the pitch, butée, 180 degrees corresponds with 100 RPM. Si If you want to go down to 100 RPM, screw a half turn. Next, fold the locking wire. Pour le mettre de façon symétrique. Fold the locking wire while in a U-shape and place it symmetrically. Twist it on one side while holding Cut the other side. L'autre côté. Once twisted, narrow it down. and fold it around the center. Le long de la pièce qui fait tri bras qui tient les biellettes. Et voilà. Merci.